is your life. And it's your dreams. I have always had one dream, playing college football. For a touchdown, Spencer Webb went up and got it. But, I mean, I made it. Like, that's the script. For Spencer Webb, the script started in Dixon, California, a small town just outside of Sacramento. Early on, home life with his parents was chaotic and challenging. As bad as it gets, drugs, alcohol, selfishness, issues. Abandoned by his mom and dad by the age of four, Spencer was taken in by his aunt. His half-brother Cody, 15 years older and in college at the time, would assist when he could. I think the dynamics of that home were always challenging. Spencer's just a strong personality, and maybe the abandonment, he needs the attention. In 2013, with Spencer's grades in a free fall, Cody decided to move the 13-year-old to Sacramento, where he became Spencer's legal guardian. A new school and new structure helped Spencer thrive in the classroom and on the field. Sports gave him purpose, kind of a break from the grind of life. The accolades and the pats on the back and being part of the family of a team, he gravitated towards that. In 2017, Spencer achieved a childhood dream when the 6'6 tight end committed to play football for the Oregon Ducks. It was my dream school. Um, ever since I was a young boy, I've always wanted to go be a duck, and now I have the opportunity to. Now takes a shot downfield. It's caught inside the five by Webb, and he's in. Touchdown, Oregon. Big fella went up and made a play on the football. I think for him, it was kind of like, OK, I'm kind of growing up. I've had my like early struggles, like now I'm ready to see if I can go to the next level and be really successful. Spencer and the team were preparing for the upcoming season in the summer of 2022. He had recently changed his jersey number from 18 back to four, and the fifth year junior was just a few credits shy of graduating. On July 13th, the Ducks spent the morning doing a team building exercise. It was about being grateful. Spent some time talking about the topic of grateful and, and how each one of us are, you know, in a unique place, um, but not only credit to ourselves, but because of other people. And I don't think there's any person that embodied that more than Spencer. A few hours later, Spencer and some friends went to Triangle Lake, a recreation area about an hour from Eugene known for its rock slides, waterfalls, and cliff jumping. Around 5.30 p.m., his brother Cody received a phone call from former Oregon football coach Mario Cristobal. There's been an accident. Um, Spencer's hit his head. And, um, you know, he said something like, and he didn't make it. It was just the worst news you could ever hear. At approximately 2.30 p.m., according to the police report, Spencer Webb was climbing a rock formation when he slipped, falling into the water and hitting his head. The 22-year-old was pronounced dead a half hour later. And you're just immediately heartbroken because you realize where Spencer was trending headed the right direction. He was doing things right. I've never really experienced losing someone close to me. Um, and Spencer was that first person. Like, I was still waiting for Spence to call me, text me. Just a few days after Spencer's death, the Ducks wrapped up their summer program. But on their last day of conditioning, they did something to honor their teammate in a place that shares his name. 
we talked about doing a climb all summer. And as we sat there after this moment, it felt only fitting that the place we climb is Spencer's Butte. We could have just all been done with the workout and went home our separate ways, but this is like we were building a connection with each other, growing as a team. It needs to be a life that's remembered. As long as I'm the head coach here, we are always going to climb Spencer's Butte. It's our last day of summer training. You just really appreciate that something you care so much about, others do too. And to think that he was able to find his way to a level of this magnitude is just really special and you're like proud of him. The script is your life. At the end of my life, I want people to be like, he did what he had to do and he fulfilled his dreams. The Ducks will be honoring Spencer a number of ways this season. His locker will remain untouched, and there will always be an open chair in the tight ends meeting room. They also will have on the helmets this season this decal. You're seeing a spider web here with the number four. That way, Spencer is always on the field with them. And university officials tell me that Spencer was just a few credits shy of graduating this academic year. He will receive his degree from the University of Oregon posthumously. Reese. Jen, well done. Just a heartbreaking story for all of us across college football, and particularly those at the University of Oregon. Its memory will certainly be evident when the Ducks take on Georgia today. More from Columbus in College Game Day right after this.